Before I start this video, shout out to some of the supporters in the King Legacy Discord server. Shout out to Ryan Zodev, shout out to Savo49, shout out to Nicholas TZY, and shout out to Light Yaga. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So, final guys, after days of grinding, Sea Beasts, aside from getting the Spirit Fruit, now we were able to get the Acrocyte of all the things that we were able to unlock fruits, accessories, etc. This is the best item so far. So far, I've unlocked almost all of the accessories except for the legendary one and the hair of Big Mom and her sword. Okay, so let's change our sword now. Here you go. The legendary Acrocyte, which has two skills. First up is the Warping Sight and the Whirlpool Blood. Whirlpool or whir Whirling? Yeah, sorry about that. Whirling Blood. Still locked, so... I was not able to read it properly. Okay, so now let's just return back to our spawn point and we're gonna do a showcase of the skills. And after that, I'm gonna show you how to use it properly, the best way to use it, okay? Oh, we only have 825 on the stats, so I think we need to reset it. The Robux, no way. Guys, we're gonna reset it using gems, so we have 39 so far. We are going to head back to Floresca. Just go straight and talk to Drago. Right? For those who don't know, you can reset your stats here using 25. Yeah, yeah, 25 gems for the stats. Max defense, max sword. Yeah, because we're gonna try this sword, right? And we're gonna max out our power fruit and put 900 stats on me, the remaining stats. And I think that will give you enough jumps. Yeah, sky jump, I think four to be exact. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, we're back in the spawn. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna try it. First stop, let's look at the acro side. Guys, this sword or sight really looks cool. What are those eyes? Okay, three eyes. Looks like a beak. Well, for me, it's, it looks really great. How about you guys? Comment in the comment section. So for the accessory, I think you should use the biscuit shoulder. I use the blue scarf because I'm using uh, devil fruit. I haven't unlocked the other accessories yet. Okay, for the skills, again, we have Whirling Blood and Warping Sight. First up, Warping Sight. There you go. Mm. Looks cool. The damage is kind of low. So, Gamer and Wire is saying that this is one of the best. Mm. I'm going to show it to you later. Next up, the Whirling Blood. There you go. I think this is the long range attack. It has a slightly higher damage. Again, Gamer and I'm comparing it to the authentic Triple Katana, the damage of that sword is a lot higher compared to this sword bot guys don't judge okay we're gonna use it did you did you notice that the hp guys every time i swing the sword there is what you call a life drain in pokemon lifesteal in dota vampiric aura and some other games guys in short every time you hit your enemy there is a chance that you will drain some of its hp given that idea guys I'm gonna show you the most effective way to use this sword. And yes, in the Golden Arena raids. I'm gonna show it to you normal. Go. Wait, what? I think we need to reset. Reset. That's one heart down. <laughs> Guys, we're just gonna reach, I think, wave 10. I'm just gonna show it to you. We're gonna clear it fast because the first waves, set of waves, are kinda easy. I think we're gonna start with wave 5. Just to show the damage, right? I'm also gonna focus on how to increase the life drain. Again, we're gonna focus on wave 5 from that. There you go. Okay, already wave 3. Now there's a question. Oh, a gem. Gamernom, can you finish this solo? I'm planning on doing that video, guys. So better watch out for that. I'm also gonna showcase all the revamp fruits. Maybe noob level 1 using a revamp fruit. Watch out for that. For those... Oh, we're already in wave 5. I'm gonna continue talking later. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna clear all the mobs and I'm gonna fight the boss in this wave. As every hit, there's a lifesteal even if it's left clicks. But, guys, when you're fighting a boss, 
guys don't try to tank it okay even if you have life still check this out i'm gonna use my skills okay 9k hp first skill second skill check that out our hp is 13k as we only like a uh, drained 4k that's not enough we're gonna get defeated in this raid right so my tip is don't tank bosses guys i'm gonna show it to you after this wave how strong the life seal if you're fighting lots of enemies if it's just a single enemy two three four or even five don't tank it just dodge your enemies avoid getting damage okay so we're gonna defeat this and on the next wave i'm gonna show you how effective the life still is wave six check the hp Twenty thousand. okay wait sorry guys i missed that <laughs> one more time first kill warping sight boom Guys, you notice that from 16,000 to 32,000. Wow, that's 15k HP. Boom, almost full. Guys, again, this means that you can always rely on your life still if your enemy is still like more than 10, etc., something like that. But again, when your enemies are below 10, try to avoid getting damage. We're gonna fast forward this until we reach wave 10 and end this video. So again, Guys, as I was saying a while ago, don't worry, for those requesting Rumble, a level 1 noob Rumble fruit, guys, I already have the fruit, to be honest. With a level 1 character, I'm just gonna cover most of the updates, the revamp fruits, the awakened fruits, I'm still gonna farm gems. And then I'm gonna post a video of that, okay? I hope that you understand. As you can see here, guys, again, see that lifesteal. I really love this lifesteal. Now I have a way of grinding gems. We're gonna use this sword and ask some other players in the public server to join me in this golden arena. So I think that's it guys. If you wanna continue watching this final wave, go for it. If no, I've already said most of the tips that I'm about to say. So again guys, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, Wave 10 is coming. I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.